So hi everyone, I'm Jenny, I'm a queer person and I use the pronouns she and they and I'm the chair of the LGBT Plus and Allies Network here at Thames Water um, and I want to tell you that we've been working really hard over the last couple of years to make Thames an even greater place to work and better represent the diversity that we have both in our workforce but also the people we serve and as a result of the fantastic work we've done we've achieved over 100 place improvement in our ranking in the Stonewall Workplace Equality Index in 2020 which is fantastic and lots more colleagues are now happy to be open about their identity. So I'm now going to hand you over to uh, Richard, who's our senior sponsor of the network. Hello, I'm Richard Holt. Um, as Jenny mentioned, I'm the senior sponsor for the network uh, and I'm my, an ally to the network. Uh, my role is to uh, provide visibility of the network across the executive team and the senior managers within, within Thames Water. Um, our new CEO just started with us, has already pledged a, a commitment to our network at Thames, so we're really pleased about that. Um, and I'll now hand over to Frankie. Hi, I'm Frankie. I'm Diversity and Inclusion Coordinator and I'm an ally for the network. My role is essentially to liaise between all of the networks we have at Thames Water. Um, so we, we range from the Women's Network, Disability Network, um, and the LGBT network have been doing some great work in um, uh, in collaboration with the BAME network and our faith networks. Um, I'll hand over to Mark. Thanks, Frankie. I'm Mark. I'm gay and I use he, him pronouns. I'm the vice chair of the LGBT plus and allies network here at Thames Water. Um, Jenny mentioned we've been, uh, we've seen a really big improvement in our Stonewall Workplace Equality Index position, and we're really proud of the progress we've made there. Uh, some of the things we've done to get to this position include uh, introducing a manager's toolkit to help them support their LGBT plus team members. Uh, also, we've developed trans and non-binary guidelines, uh, which we've updated recently, to, uh, ready for by Visibility Day later this month. Uh, we've held fundraising events in our Reading and Swindon offices, as well as at Pride events throughout the year, uh, and that's to raise money for Support You in Reading and for Out of the Can LGBT plus youth group in Swindon. Uh, and we're really proud to have such great um, visible and active support from our allies across Thames Water who help us to create an environment where we don't feel judged and where we can bring our whole self to work every day. I'll now hand over to Lex. Hi, I'm Lex. I am an openly gay man who's disabled and I use the pronouns he and him. Um, Pride is very important to us here at Thames. It's such a wonderful, bright, vibrant day out. We're so sad it hasn't happened this year. We miss you um, coming to see us and quenching your thirst and bringing along your four-legged furry friends. And um, yeah, hopefully we'll see you at the next one. Hi, I'm Denise and I'm part of the recruitment team here at Thames Water. Like Lex said, like many of us, we were all disappointed but understanding that Pride was cancelled this year. Pride is like one big happy family, amongst other things. It's also a diverse and great event to build relationships. So if you enjoy being part of a big family, that's also diverse amongst many things, and enjoy building relationships, then have a look at our careers page. We can't offer you pride this year, but we can offer you an opportunity to work for an organisation that you can be proud of. Over to you, Jenny. So, yeah, so thank you for listening and we hope you enjoy hearing about some of the great stuff that we've been working on. Um, we're sad we can't see you this year at Pride. We hope this little video helps with that and we can't wait to see you next year um, at Pride 2021.